What's up YouTube, Capital G here. Got an interesting pair of duels for you guys to check out in this video. And this really showcases just how much you can do and how much you can create in Yu-Gi-Oh! When you just run a whole bunch of good cards in your deck. Whether your deck is just one pure archetype or as in this video, just a bunch of archetypes slammed together and really a whole bunch of like small engines. People used to do this all the time during the uh, the GX and the uh, 5 these days. How do you think decks like Plant Synchro and Teledad, Dad return got created these were not archetypes per se these were a bunch of like smaller kind of themes thrown together destiny heroes dark arm and a bunch of dark monsters and then like you know krebons and uh, the psychic support you throw all of that together boom you got teledad it's a tier zero deck this is kind of the same exact concept so you look at this opening hand you got some invoked you got some <laughs> star seraphs you got lone fire which might mean the predator plant engine um i guess spoiler alert it does then you got uh, you know solemn scolding here to wrap everything up and make sure that you can negate whatever your opponent throws at you and let's see exactly how it's going to all play out now i will say this Lone Fire aside, I still believe that this card, Predator Plant Ortho Scorpio, should be limited to one as it is in the OCG because it just makes it too damn easy to get Brilliant Fusion and you get Fairy Tail Snow in the graveyard. Invoker should be banned, but that's another story. <laughs> it goes into a so now. This is probably the one card people don't recognize right here. This is Attack Gainer. This is important because this is actually going to go into one of the synchro plays of this deck that is just going to shut your opponent down. Brilliant Fusion comes down. You know what that means. That means that a thousand blades and trick clown are both coming back get that invocation there's the naturia beast using the attack gainer and he did use four cards and for uh the copy of sorry you just right now this is nice because he gets a special summon his stick out of his hand that means he gets to drop chair he gets to drop another chair that he just drew so now it's getting really nutty especially because he can make um or uh ouroboros he can take a card out of his opponent's hand get rid of that uh, brilliant fusion draw a card like it's just amazing he makes double Merkaba, if i'm not mistaken right yeah, double a Kaba. This play would like not be possible in the OCG where they only have double, where they only have one copy of Merkaba. And you look at the final result of this field, and it's like, yeah, man, that's some pretty balanced Yu-Gi-Oh. Not only does he have or I mean Ouroboros that took a card out of his opponent's hand and let him draw, by the way, but he has double Merkaba, so I mean he can negate a bunch of stuff with that. He has the uh lone Naturia Beast over here, so all your spells belong to us. And then he has the solemn scolding to basically stop anything else that i guess these cards don't cover which is uh i don't know other than summons i can't really think of anything but obviously his opponent has basically no shot at doing this i mean he has the farfa which uh that's just gonna get negated so rip <laughs> he can't do anything even if he summons i mean he can just use the solemn scolding so i'm not sure that there's really any outs to this outside of the wing dragon rock spear mode or like you know have that uh that kaiju action or you know something crazy like that maybe if you're playing ultra guys you flip Flip over, um, goes and match, and then use solemn strike. But then no, he would probably still just use the uh, the solemn scolding to negate the strike. So this would be an incredibly hard board to actually get rid of. This is the same deck. It's just a little bit different with the play. He did open with Ortho Scorpio. So there goes my idea of limiting the card to one. Don't even matter, Cap. I open with it anyways. <laughs> he's gonna go ahead. He's gonna get instant fusion this time. Still going to get thousand blades, and um, that probably means that Trick Clown is gonna be sent to the graveyard off brilliant fusion once again. He is sent. The or he's summoning the attack gainer, sending uh, the uh, what's that card called? Phoenix Blade to the graveyard. Some people want Phoenix Blade banned. That's kind of crazy. I might in my ban list video, I'm gonna talk about that, which probably will be posted on Monday, which will be way after this video, so or way before this video. So that's actually kind of ass backwards, anyways. He makes are you just skull dread instant fusions for um, what is this guy's name? I feel like it's Kabula Warrior. Kabula Warrior, let me let me is it uh, carbon carb. Carbonala Warrior. Okay, I was close. <laughs> I knew it was some type of K Warrior. He is going to drop uh, Merkaba after Nat Beast and then he invoke Link Monster. And this time he is going to summon that uh, that Kaiju. This is awesome. No Firewall needed for all you guys. Oh, Firewall Dragon is the ultimate pop-off card. If you don't have Firewall Dragon, you can't do any broken stuff. How many? I'm going to just assume he has at least five counters on this damn thing. Okay, yeah, he's, he has five counters. So we have Walking Solemn Judgment here that vanishes by the way. We have no spell cards here and then we have uh negation of monster effects here so yeah and i think he drew winter cherries as his final card which is unfortunate because maybe he would have been able to get rid of his soul <laughs> if you get rid of his soul you stop everything but dante that's gonna be uh stopped 
Dante's also going to get banished. Game of Seal is just going to negate the Farfa. And, um, oh, yes, Fairy Tale Snow. Okay, fall oh, Fairy Tale Snow. Rip. He got wrecked by Merkaba. That's the end of that duel. But just a nice little display of what you can do when you throw a whole bunch of cards together. Brilliant Fusion is still an incredibly strong card. I'm going to pause for one quick second and I'm going to show you guys what exactly the deck looks like that you were watching. Okay, so this is what the deck looks like on paper. I just finished organizing this thing, and oh my goodness, the first uh, my first response to this was, man, there is a lot of moving pieces in this deck. I felt it to be incredibly jarring that there were only two Brilliant Fusions in this thing. I mean, I guess ideally you never really want to draw Brilliant Fusion. You always want to search it from like your uh, Darling Cobra, and uh, you have so many ways of getting to Ortho Scorpio with like Lone Fire Blossom. This isn't new by any stretch of the imagination but i don't know i'm just not used to seeing two copies of brilliant fusion it's not like it's not like the card is semi-limited or anything it's just you know brilliant fusion is a card that i always consider like a three of or a zero of either don't run it or run three but hey you can always use other ways or you can always run whatever number you want um two copies of equip cards you obviously need the phoenix blade and um you're gonna need another equip card just in case you happen to draw one of these because we did see isode used uh multiple times because that got the, the attack gainer so Living Fossil makes a lot of sense because it is basically just, it's like a, a, a crappy premature burial, but um, when you come to, when it comes to like Link Summoning, it really doesn't matter. You're not really using the monster for the effect. You're basically just using the monster as a legitimate body to put on the board. I'm liking the Solemn Brigade, man. I'm, I'm loving Scolding, one copy of Scolding, one Judgment, and one Warning. These are all super impactful Solemns, and you know, these two basically stop everything. This can, uh, you know, stop normal summons as well. And you saw those fields where you have like Nat Bees plus Merkaba. You need like a way of making sure you can stop that. Or even if you just happen to make Nat Bees and I don't know, Ouroboros or something like that, why not have a way of making sure your opponent can't just summon into your Nat Bees and potentially attack over it with like a Link Monster or something like that? You get one of those Solemn cards, and there's basically no chance your opponent's going to be able to attack over it. We got Blackluster Soldier in here for a little more sacking. And you know, Predator Plants are dark, and a lot of these hand traps and Alice and stuff is uh is also dark you have hand traps that are light like effect veiler you have ghost ogre and snow rabbit that's light is gam i think are, are all side frames light too side frame yeah i thought so side frame is light based and you usually see gammas being played and decks that use Brilliant Fusion, just because Brilliant Fusion is like a really big Ash target. So if your opponent ashes you when you activate Brilliant Fusion, you don't have any monsters on the field. Well, actually, maybe that that might not be so applicable in this deck because usually when you activate Brilliant Fusion, you might not have any monsters on the field. But this one, you might search Brilliant Fusion a lot of times off Darling Cobra. So maybe it's a moot point. But you can still use Gamma if your opponent, ter uh, if you like terraforming and they ash any of those, or if they ash the Magical Meltdown itself. So I still think that's. Uh, gamma makes a whole lot of sense in here plus if gamma or uh driver is in your hand you can just banish it for um invocation and you can just make your macabre that way but overall this is kind of like a monster mash deck but yeah just a whole bunch of good engines and some of the absurdness that you can make with them we never saw a trigate wizard because we never saw like an extra link this is actually crazy i don't yeah i wonder why this is even in here because there's no firewall or nightmare goblin this is a deck that is not i, I from what i can see not really going to extra link so i wonder if this card is ever summoned uh, Watts co-linked with three. I wouldn't even imagine so, but overall still a pretty, a pretty nice deck.